<laughs> people have been sending me all kinds of messages and uh, I will just take a few of them. One of them asked me, why do you love Bob Marley so much? <laughs> who won't love a man who had the capability to use a powerful message encapsulated in a strange powerful music to inspire others to wake up come on Bob Marley woke me up from a deep slumber so many years ago and uh, being a fan of his has helped me in an unquantifiable number of ways to assert my rights as a global citizen and in particular a citizen of Nigeria. You know, my consciousness has risen, risen so high to the extent that I don't believe that anybody has the capability of doing anything to me anymore. Why should I be afraid of anybody? Why should I be afraid of speaking the truth? Why should I be afraid of asserting my citizenship of Nigeria? I don't have time to complain when I have so much energy to do. If you cannot fight for your right here, then you are as good as dead. I have seen the light in a lot of issues in Nigeria. I have seen the light in the way people worship the Almighty God. I have seen the light in the way government treat its people. I have seen the way people allow themselves to be used as pawn by people of superior mentality. How much money does anybody have to buy me? How much money are you going to give to me, even in my worst state, to make me do something wrong? This and many more are the benefits I have derived listening to the message of Bob Mali and developing my own ideology about life, about spirituality, and about leadership. Why should I, for instance, allow any lousy person to tell me that I have to worship God through him and that God speaks to him and, and the same God cannot speak to me? If you develop your spirituality, God will speak directly to you more than anything else. Just like Nigerians think that God will come down to come and remove uh, those who are oppressing them after God gave them dominion to do all things. If you know what right is what, you would look for yours right here on earth. But if you lose your right, or you allow somebody to violently or subtly take it away from you, you are as good as dead. It is only dead men that don't fight for rights. And someone has sent a message asking me if I am a raster. <laughs> what does he know about what it means to be a raster? 
Being a rasta means that you have to be born again. You have to be able to at all times, not selectively, speak the truth at all times. Confront monsters at all times. Confront evil because when you become a rasta, you become light. Rasta, Rastafarianism is not a religion. It's, it's a mental consciousness that you rise above destruction. You rise above falsehood. You are able to tell the truth. You are friendly to the environment and you show love, peace and unity. And that's what we demonstrate as Rastafarians. Why should I be that type of Christian or Muslim that we pick up guns and start killing fellow human beings because they have very variant opinions about how they worship God? Can you fight for God? If you begin to fight for God, then God is inferior because God has all the power that He needs to do anything. If He could make you, why should be where should you be a soldier for Him? God fights His battle. He didn't send you to fight for him. He didn't recruit you as a soldier. He recruited you to worship him in truth and in spirit. Rastas open their hearts to serve God through serving their fellow human beings. How many Rastas have you seen killing people online? You see, the message of Rastafarianism is truth and respect for humanity and the environment. And that's what God, Bob Marley did all through his life, short life. He's spreading the love of rebellion for the acquisition of your God-given rights. He spread the re uh, message of peace that made the United Nations give him a peace medal. And he spread the message of love when after all the struggles, old foes and enemies will come back together as friends. That's what the Rastafarian ideology is about. It's not about any, any other thing. Another one sent me a message asking me if I smoke weed. No normal human being will smoke weed. Weeds are not to be smoked. So I, I guess perhaps he doesn't know what he's talking about. Rastas don't smoke weed. Rastas use herbs. Like herbs, everybody uses herbs. Are you not using herbs to cure asthma, to cure coronavirus, and every other thing? No any human being. We put weed. Weed is not, weeds are supposed to die and not to be consumed. We know and we understand that Almighty God is a living man. And you can fool some people sometimes, but you can't fool all the people all the time. And now you see the light, what you gonna do? Stand up for your right. Did you hear? Get up, stand up. Stand up for your right. Yeah, that's the extent to which our people judge. You know, the other day somebody was telling me why you put rest, Rastafarian thing around you and stuff like that. Because it's societally not acceptable. Who are you to judge? If you can defend a pastor who exploits you every Sunday of your hard earned money, then why are you judging someone who is doing what is right? Preaching a message that none, not many people can preach. Because you have this belief that rastas are rebellious rebellious against who and against what Hey, keep a date with me on May 11th, which is Monday, two days away from now. 
we are going to celebrate the life and times of Bob Marley 39 years after he is waxing stronger, conquering obstacles, breaking boundaries. People are getting up and standing up. People are getting united. Africa is about to come together like he prophesied. One love will take place after all this time. And you know what? All this will happen on the Nightingale radio station, worldwide broadcasting from Houston, Texas, United States of America. And I'm going to be the anchor. It's going to take place on the Nigeria Now program. Be there. My job right now is to inspire the youths of Nigeria to come together and take their country back because no time can be better than now. We must not make another costly mistake that will plunge us into a deeper hell than we are already in. You know, in doing this, I don't care what anybody says or thinks about me. But I know I am driven by patriotic instincts to do something in my lifetime for which I will be remembered years after I have quit the stage. If you are any Nigerian, that has been involved in any shady deals with me. I urge you to come forward and tell the world that, yeah, this guy is corrupt. This guy has done anything. Righteousness is what we try to live through. And that is what Nigeria needs right now. Nigeria needs visionaries, those who can think, those who can dream, and those who can envision, and those who can assemble men of knowledge and men driven by transparency and accountability men driven by great and exceptional contents of character those are the people nigeria needs right now you who thinks that money is everything you are one of the problems nigeria has and you must purge yourself of that mentality slavish mentality Nigerians, Nigeria needs men and women who are willing and who must sacrifice for the salvation of their country. There's no two ways out. I don't want to call, call names. You've seen them. They will jail them today. Tomorrow they bring them out. Is that the type of, are those the type of leadership you want beyond now? Nigeria is at a crossroad and they must make a choice. Whatever choice that they make is what is going to give them what they want. We know and we understand a mighty God is a living man. And you can fool some people sometimes, but you can't fool all the people all the time. Now you see the light. Stand up for your right. 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 Everything that I have done to this minute is done with patriotism, absolute patriotism on my mind for the love of country and not for any other reason. You know, it takes a rare and special people to dare the monsters in Nigeria the way some of us have done. We deserve to be respected. We deserve to be followed. We don't have money to share, but we have a powerful message that can transform Nigeria better than Dubai. <laughs>